Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Python's Realm Season 2, guys. We're on episode 16 and guys, thank you very much for the amount of support you showed in the last episode and once again for the patience you have been showing for this channel. I really do appreciate it, guys. It means the world to me. So, yeah. But in today's episode, my friends, we're going to be doing a couple of things. I want to go ahead to the underground hallow and underground corruption, not corruption, crimson. We have crimson on this world, don't we? I want to go to the underground hallow and crimson because I want to get myself a bunch of souls of light and night because yeah I kind of want to action what was said in the last episode's comment question of the video in that uh, the clockwork assault rifle and the crystal and icon bullets should be able to take down the twins and of course the twins that requires I do believe it's going to be souls of light actually uh, souls of night are required if we wanted to take down Skeletron Prime and of course the destroyer I already have a destroyer summoner I I've already got myself a mechanical worm just from a mob, so, you know, that's kind of nice, if you ask me. Hell yeah! Right, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, put the wood up there. Uh, acorns, uh, uh, just plant them, because I'm a very green person on this game. Not really, in fact, to be honest with you, I'm the furthest thing from green on this game. <laughs> oh dear. But guys, today's fan art comes from a user by the name of Cheryl. And she decided to uh, sketch out a really, really awesome looking scene in a cave whereby there is a woman with a pickaxe about to, by the looks of it, detonate an explosive with the pressure plate, which I think is really, really cool. I mean, uh, many a time that has happened. That has happened many times before on my world where I've just been jump scared by me accidentally detonating freaking, uh, you know, uh, an explosive. And it sucks because it makes me jump every time and I cry myself to sleep on that same night. But uh, yeah. Shovel, I appreciate the fan up. Thank you very much, but I appreciate it. If you guys want to send in your fan up for a chance of yours being used and your name shouted down, details are on screen, of course. And uh, yeah, all will be good. So here we are in the jungle. We need to go into the underground jungle because, of course, that is going to be where the hallow is. Oh, jeez. 249 damage. What in the heck is that, bro? That is ridiculousness, if you ask me, my friends. That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, boy. Anyways, let's get over this way real quick. We're going to try and find ourselves a hallowed, because I do believe the hallow was intersecting the jungle, wasn't it? Somewhere. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> Can't remember where it was exactly, but I definitely know that it's here somewhere. So, yeah. Let's just do a bit of a, an explore session. Let's see if we can find the underground hallow, because, yeah, I want to get myself some souls. Not cool, boo-boo. I don't like giant tortoises in expert mode. They're a bit overpowered, in my opinion, doing like 240 to 250 damage. That's a bit nuts, if you ask me. Ah, oh dear. Well, we've already died. We've got absolutely no souls at all. In fact, that cut was literally only about 10 seconds after I did cut away, so... Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, there's a soul of light, which must mean we are now technically in an underground hallowed jungle, so, uh, yeah. It's a bit strange, considering there's no underground hallow music like there typically would be, but, uh, I mean, at the very least, we are starting to grab ourselves a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, jeez. Hi. Oh, hello. There's a lot of guys here, huh? Right, why don't you all go ahead and get killed, and then uh, I can get on with my life, eh? Yeah, all will be good. Go on, get destroyed, trapper. Go on, get out of here. What about you? Go on, you bunch of bots. You're not taking me out the game, not today. Why am I not getting any more freaking souls? That is... Oh, that I didn't like that sound. I did not like that sound. There's only one thing that makes that sound, and that, ladies and gentlemen... Is a freaking Medusa, and I gotta tell you, man, I'm not about that life, you know what I'm saying? Can can I, like, start getting some more souls, please? That would be amazing. I would very much appreciate it, and I very much need them if I'm gonna be taking out the twins. Hmm. I don't know, man. Not looking good. Oh, hello. Oh. It said there was a hallowed mimic around somewhere, and then it disappeared. Well, damn. Don't play like that, do you? All right, boom, boom. Yeah, go on, get wrecked, you bunch of butts. Y'all ain't taking me out of the game. Not today, son. Go on, get destroyed. Everybody get destroyed. There you go. There's some more souls for the Python area. That's what I like to see. It, um, it, it, uh, hi. 
Oh, right, okay, so they're finally all dead. There we go. All right. We've got to sell some husks. Three souls of light. Hey, not looking bad, man. And now we're in a thingy biome. A thingy biome. I am very good at describing things, aren't I? <laughs> Go on. Give me some souls, buddy. Huh. Okay. I mean, you know, finding the uh, finding this guy is always a bonus because check this out, guys. We can finally buy the yo-yo glove. I have enough money. Ah, oh, yeah. We've got the gradient yo-yo here as well, but... Uh, Oh, man, I wouldn't actually mind buying that if I'm entirely honest with you guys. That'd be kind of nice. But, you know, there's only so much I can do, isn't there? I mean, I don't have enough money, and I don't think there's, there's anything on me that has the worth to give me the money to be able to buy that thing. Hmm. I don't know, man. I, I feel like the gradient is something that pops up in the skeleton merchant's inventory quite a lot, though. It's the yo-yos that pop up in the traveling merchant's inventory that are the super, super rare ones. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and give Bones McGee, who is talking about the cloth here. Are you talking about chippy gaming? <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. We all know he's awesome. <laughs> oh, dear. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll tell you something, though. I feel like I should be wearing a Reaper outfit while I'm going ahead and reaping souls from a bunch of dudes. We've got 15 currently. I'm looking for 21. So, 6 for the Twin Summoner and then 15 for a Hallowed Mimic, uh, you know, key of light thing. So, you know, that'd be kind of cool. Ah, oh, dear. All right, let the grind continue. And there we go, my friends. 21 souls of light. Now, as far as I can remember, we need iron or lead bars, which, of course, we've got some right here. Looking good. Oh, hang on. You should probably close that door, huh? <laughs> Do my NPCs a little bit of a favor at the very least. Right, anyways, let's get down here real quick. We need ourselves some of these. Wow, we've got a lot of those. That's amazing. Okay. But there we go. Mechanical eye. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if all goes well, if everything goes to plan, I would hopefully be able to take down both of these mechanical bosses here. That would be the best case scenario. Worst case scenario is we have to go farming again and then uh, things will just drag on. And to be honest, I don't want that to happen. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's go and put them away. We've got ourselves lead bars. Let's put those away real quick. We've got a bunch of other stuff as well, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe we could put, like, dye stuffs in the seeds chest as well. Rich mahogany. Let's get you put away. Pearl sand. Oh, wow. It's actually full in here. Huh. Okay. May need to expand our storage at some point. Uh, anyways, uh, we need a crafting table, just a box standard crafting table, just so we can make ourselves one of those. And then finally, of course, we need ourselves just a box standard chest. So, can we do this first time? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to hope that we could. Uh, I should probably go and get myself full health first. <laughs> there we go. All right, and yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we just go ahead and uh, fight the hallowed mimic right here. Boof! Let's get it, boys! Let's go! This guy has got 7,000 health. The nurse has just been pwned. And there's a bunch of... A load of other people as well. Oh, God. Right. Uh, can you lot, like, all go away and stuff? I would, like, very much like to not have you lot here. Desert mobs, please. Please, desert mobs. I don't want you here. Come on. You will die, and I will live, and you will give me a Daedalus Stormbow, won't you? Come on. How are you looking? 6,000-ish health? I don't actually know, because he's moving so freaking fast. You need to die. Ugh. Oh, God. Man, this is going to take ages, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to skip until hopefully I take him down. Yeah! -ha! Get wrecked, son! Uh, oh, hey, okay. So he actually dropped two cool things there. He gave us the Blessed Apple, which, of course... Means we have a unicorn. So we've got super speed. Oh my god, it's a golden unicorn. What? That looks awesome, bro. Oh my god, I've got a golden unicorn. This is like the best day ever. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've... Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to get in this series. A gold unicorn is pretty much it. The nurse has just re-arrived. We've got the crystal vial shard. Sadly, it's not what we're after, but, uh, you know... Oh, well. <laughs> right, well, the next thing we're going to do, my friends, is we're going to try and grab ourselves some I-Core. We didn't manage to get ourselves a single crystal shard, guys. We didn't even get one, which is a bit sad, really. I mean, I need crystal shards. I'm going to have to make myself my own artificial underground hallowed biome, aren't I? Because, uh, 
yeah, what I've got going on currently with the whole jungle thing, it's not working out. Like, at all, in fact. So, yeah. Uh, I really hate that I don't have a proper hallowed biome on this world. It annoys me greatly. Here we go, folks. We managed to get ourselves a demonic crystal vial shard, now doing 24 damage. One thing I don't know about this weapon is its piercing power, because if it's good, then this combined with this, it could turn out to be something rather amazing. Uh, murderous, yep, that would be quite nice. So 44 damage plus 24 damage, and um, this thing I'm pretty sure pierces infinite times compared to, you know, I think these two together might actually do a pretty good job of, uh, you know, making us do well and stuff. That is the intention, certainly. Right, anyways, let's go ahead and grab ourselves out some uh, basic potions here and there. We just need some basics at this point. Mana regen, mana power, uh, seven minutes, two minutes. All right, we'll have a little bit of that. Archery potion, nah. Mining potion, nah. I think we're pretty much good. Maybe we'll have a quick look in the little buff potion chest. We've got anything in here. Heart reach is definitely going to be useful. Definitely taking that. Thorns potion. I'll take one because I'm going to be using the other ones for the uh, remaining mech bosses. But yeah, I'm intending on potentially taking down the uh, the destroyer. So, you know, that would be rather nice. So, you know, uh, game. If you could not be nasty when it comes to me trying to take down this, uh, this guy, then that would be beautiful. It would be really very much appreciated, actually. Why don't you go and get killed? And yeah, I feel like I should I feel like I should head back to original spawn, actually. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to head back to original spawn. Let's go and get rid of spawn point. Let's go back home. And yeah, I'm just trying to think of a place where we could take him down. Uh, if I do it here, then my NPCs are just going to get absolutely destroyed. So what if I go ahead, just as a temporary measure, I'm just going to place down a bit of a platform here. And then maybe, just maybe, we can uh, get some stuff going here. You know what I'm saying? So, let's get this thing rolling. Where's my spider minions gone? I am very confused. I don't know where they are. And it is very strange to me. Right, uh, can I just get myself some of these things? Get myself a campfire at the very least. Boom. Looking good. Right. Oh, hello. Hi. My name is Python. You are an angry Nimbus. And I don't like the fact that you're angry. So why don't you go away? I don't like you. Go on. Get out. Right. Buffing up. And boom. Here we go. Clouds ahoy. Let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. I don't actually know, to be honest with you. We could do incredibly well. We could also do incredibly not well. But, you know, it's all about just seeing what happens. I don't even know where I am right now. I've, I've lost every single... Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. Things are getting a bit mad. Things are getting a bit mad. There's like orbs all over the goddamn place. What the hell? Dude? There's orbs everywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, if I could just survive, that would be fantastic. There's too many lasers. There's too many lasers. Too many lasers. Too many freaking lasers, man. This is not Austin Powers, dude. Get out of here. Boom, boom. Okay. Uh, the health is going down quickly, which I guess is okay. Uh, but aside from that, things are not looking so hot for us right now. Unless we manage to continue. Uh, Nimbus, you are absolutely not helping the course. Uh, you need to go away. Right, come on. Uh, okay, the icicle is taking care of the orbs quite nicely, so that's actually kind of alright. I'll take that. I'll take that. In the meantime, there we go. We're pretty much nearly back up to full health. This guy has only got a third health left. Okay. I'm kind of feeling good about this. I was feeling a little bit threatened at the start. But you know what? I think we may have this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. 20,000 health. The Nimbus Rod alone could take down these fools, man. Honestly. And decimated. Da, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, man. All right, guys. So here we are back at base. The destroyer is down. Let's open this bad boy up, and there we go. Hey, don't you dare call my nurse. My nurse is beautiful. You leave her alone. Right, anyway, so what I want to do is I want to make myself the Mega Shark, ideally. So let's go ahead and buy the illegal gun parts. That's one of the uh, parts of the puzzle. We got that. We got that. We got the Mini Shark. Do we have a Mini Shark? I can't remember if we bought a Mini Shark on this series. Do you know what? I don't think we did. Oh, well then. 
I don't have a mini shark, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't even have the money to even make one or buy one. Unless I sell these meteorite bars. Yeah, it could be worth doing that. I mean, we're not going to need the stuff. Crimtane? We're de actually, no, that's a good point. We're definitely not going to be needing the Crimtane. And even then, it's really, really easy to obtain, isn't it? So let's go and sell that. I'm going to keep the meteorite bars just in case we, we want to make something else. But there we go. Mini Shark has just been purchased. We need to now go ahead and farm ourselves up some shark fins, right? Shark fins? Do we have any? No, no shark fins. Okay, we've got none at all. Right, that is a problem. Okay. Well, in which case, we've got ourselves a battle potion. We can go ahead and just farm him out, I, I, I guess. I, I mean, I've got no issues with doing that. Aside from the fact it's a little bit drab and boring. But, you know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a needs must, isn't it? It's a needs must. All right. Let's go to the ocean biome. Let's farm out some shark fins. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Hey, we've got all the shark fins we need. And we've got a jellyfish necklace as well. Is that even useful? It's a material, it provides light underwater. So if we ever decided we want to make ourselves like an underwater aquatic kind of base, actually that'd be a pretty cool idea. An aquatic base. That's something I've never ever done before. Probably for a good reason, let's just be frank here. But uh, you know, it'd be kind of interesting to give something that's ordinarily very difficult uh, a go. I mean, you know, it could be a cool idea. Anyway, so let's head down here guys and we are about to make the Mega Shark. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shame it hasn't got a reforge on it, it has to be said. But, uh, you know, oh, meteorite candle. Why did I? I don't know what I'm even doing these days. Anyways, uh, 10 gold. Broken. Terrible. Hey, I'll take that. Godly. 38 range damage. Hey. Yeah, this is the trouble with having a hallowed jungle underground area. There's like barely any stone blocks that the crystal shards can connect to. So, so far I've only managed to get three. Now, as far as I can remember, you either get 50 or you get 70 bullets per time. No, 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 Oh, jeez, there's loads of guys around here, man. What the heck? Go away, dude. Hey, we've got ourselves a Yenit. Holy crap. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. 67 melee damage. That's incredible. Okay. Uh, what do we want to take off? I mean, I'm going to take off the torches in which case. That is a... Uh, that's pretty amazing if you ask me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Nice one. Alrighty, guys. We're running a little bit low on time now. I've managed to get myself 10 crystal shards, which is enough to make either 50 or 70 of those crystal bullets. So, uh, I mean, all we could do is just give it a go, see what we can get, and uh, just go from there, I guess. So, I'm going to buy 700 of these. Well, 716, I guess, is the amount we're actually going to get. <laughs> all right. So, uh, it's 100. Oh, you get a hundred per time. That's amazing. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves a stack in one. So 1,000 bullets. Holy crap, I uh, I am so bad at remembering things, aren't I? Uh, the singular crystal bullet. Ooh. Anyways, uh, boom. Yep, there we go. Crystal bullets at the ready, ladies and gentlemen. I would have gone for Icor as well, but we are really running low on time in terms of, you know, the time of day it is. So let's get you placed in there. We've got ourselves banners and all sorts on us at this point. We've got some souls. Let's put them away in the chest. So at the very least, if we do manage to fail this one, we can indeed try again. So that's pretty okay with me. Uh, we've got hallowed bars. Is there anything I want to make with the hallowed bars, actually? I might, I might as well have a look real quick. Excalibur? Yeah. I'm down for having an Excalibur. I mean, it does more damage than the Knight's Edge, even though it is legendary. But, uh, you know, I mean, at the very least, once again, we're going to need these things for the eventual Terror Blade. So, yeah. I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. Right. Buffs. Buffs are the next port of cool. Let's just get over here real quick. Once again, the basics. Uh, oh. Why can't I? Oh, I don't have any day bloom left. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, man, that sucks, dude. I don't have any freaking day bloom left. Do I have any iron skin in here, then? Uh, oh, no. We have no iron skin potions. Okay. Well, that's pretty bad. Uh, but, you know, it's not, it's not, like, that bad. 
so good at talking. I'm so good at talking. Let's put you away in there. Tattered B wing. You go in the hard mode chest. And Featherfall. No. No. I don't like Featherfall potions. They suck, quite frankly. Right, let's do this. And we are going to once again teleport back to original spawn. And we are going to take on the twins, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it going in three, two, one. Go. All right, Green Eye, as always, will take priority. So let's see what we can do here, ladies and gentlemen. As long as we fly perpendicular, this shouldn't be this difficult, actually. It shouldn't be that difficult. So, Mega Shark versus the Twins. As you guys know, the Mega Shark, even now, is still one of the greatest hard mode weapons you can get. Well, early to mid hard mode weapons you could get, should I say. All right, there we go. Oh, he's doing his dashing thing. Not quite dashing through the snow, although he may be doing that soon because, you know, Christmas is not that far away. So let's keep ourselves going, boys. This one is really starting to get there. As long as we don't keep getting hit, we should be just about okay. That guy's now turning, so let's just be careful. And as long as we avoid his dashing, we should be, you know, pretty okay. Here he comes. Okay. He's actually almost dead already. Holy crap. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty easy twin skill if I, uh, if I keep myself going like this. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on, then, twinsies. Hello. Get wrecked, son. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Careful, 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 careful. I am now venomed. V venomed? Th th that's, that's not a thing. Oh, hey, I've killed him. <laughs> that was easy. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's move on to this guy. He does have the aim of a stormtrooper. In other words, he sucks. So let's keep it going. Although, to be honest, I don't have that much health left. If he hits me only a few times, that's all he'll need. Come on, 10 seconds until regen. Let's keep it going. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Any second now, he's going to be turning. And there he goes. Let's try and get as many hits as we possibly can. That's health. We are now pretty much... I mean, we've got three quarters health at this point. We've got uh, more health in terms of percentage than that guy does. So, you know, that's kind of okay. Oh, God. Just don't get killed, Python. Come on, man. You got this. You got... Oh, yeah. I really do got this. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That's the twins, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty easy if you have the right setup, even on expert mode. So, yeah, I'll take that. We've got a Twins Mask. We've got the Soul of Sight. And, yes, everything is looking... Oh, right, okay, so we can't teleport back, of course, because we got rid of our freaking thing. But, yeah, guys, uh, if we have a black lens, then, yeah, we should be able to make ourselves the Optic Staff. And that will be a pretty nice upgrade from the Spider Staff that we have going. So, yeah. That's pretty okay. I'm definitely happy with that. And ladies and gentlemen, on that successful note, it is going to be time to end this particular episode. But before we do, of course, let's jump into the common question of the video, which is coming from Bailey C. Sorry, are you doing anything special for Christmas with family and friends? Uh, yeah, I'm actually going down south, back down to the family home to spend Christmas with my family. So how we do it, Charlotte and I, we are pretty much like alternating the year. So one year we'll be going down to my parents and then the next year, will be having it, uh, you know, at home. So, you know, and this year is the year in which we're going to be going down to my family home. So I'm going to be seeing my dogs again, Tasha and Ollie. I'm going to be seeing my parents again and seeing my, seeing my peeps. And it's going to be awesome, my friends. It really, really is. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, a like rating, as always, would be super appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And that is going to wrap it up for today, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.